Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I'm very excited today. I know I say that in every video but today, well it's true all the time, but today we are going to try or I'm going to try the Rare Beauty for the first time. It just launched here in Sweden and I'm here to try it out. So if you want to see and hear my thoughts then please keep on watching. It's kind of late, let me just show, show you, it's 7 p.m. but I just picked up this package and I really really want to try it. So I, this is not going to be a wear test for the foundation but it's going to be my thoughts and see how it's going on my face, how it looks and I'm very excited. I have to say it came to Swedish Sephora or Scandinavian Sephora but I didn't see any palette, eyeshadow palette. I know Rare Beauty has a couple of eyeshadow palettes, but unfortunately we didn't get them here in Sweden. Maybe not now, they will be maybe later, but for now there are no, no eyeshadow palettes. And so I'm not going to use that today. And unfortunately I wanted to try the face brush, but it was sold out very fast. So I didn't get my hands on it, but I have the foundation. So let's go in with it. I am going to use this NYX Marshmallow Primer. No, I didn't get the primer. It's because I've seen so many uh, reviews about that primer and it says in the description that it's very luminizing. And I'm not here for luminizing primers. Please let me know down below what you think about my lights. I feel like it maybe washes me out a little bit. Maybe not, I know. Let me know down below if there is anything I need to adjust and fix. I think it looks good, but I'm not really sure. Okay, so it was very hard to shade match. I felt like I had very hard time to find a shade that would suit me, but I went with number 210 neutral. And this it says, does it say here? A foundation elixir that feels bravely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow. So I am going to try this foundation. Now I have to also say, um, I think Rare Beauty has a sponge that wasn't on the website. I actually went on the website, website immediately when it launched here, the same second, and I started trying to apply as many products as possible in my card. Ooh, this is definitely going to be a wrong shade. Hmm. Well, we're going to use it. It's so hard to shade match on the website. So it does have this applicator. I'm not against it. Well, uh, yes, it's a little bit darker, but Did I get any concealer? Yes, I did. So. You to use the sponge on the one side and use the brush on the other side. Maybe I shouldn't have applied foundation on, on both sides at the same time, but who cares? Let's see. Oh, definitely too dark. Oh my God, that's too, too dark. This is the new Morphe 63 brush. And you'll see me trying it in another video. I think that video will come after this one. Oh, the shade is definitely wrong. I don't know how I feel about my light, just a second. Okay, so I turned them to, I turned my lights to more cold. Um, I hope it's better. I feel like this is a little bit better. The shade is definitely wrong. Okay. But it's lightweight and I love how it goes on the skin with the brush. And I like it. It's kind of a medium coverage. Let's go with a sponge and see. Wait. 
with here with the sponge it goes more luminous but it definitely needs more more foundation so I am going to apply more and just use this brush to look at myself in the mirror it's definitely wrong shade guys it's too dark so I'm going in with a sponge I really love how this foundation looks on my skin it looks more like my skin it really looks good on my skin. We'll see how it's going to wear when I start wearing it, but mm, it does look funny here on my, you know, on this hairline. It looks a little bit dry, but otherwise everywhere else it looks really, really good. I really love how this foundation looks on my skin. It's <laughs> definitely wrong shade. But, uh, my nose is itching, we do have an, an, um, a concealer. Concealer is in shade 130 and, and that was actually the foundation that I thought I would buy, but that I felt like it was a little bit too bright, bright and maybe I was right. I don't know if the concealer is the same. I really love the packaging though. This is a weird applicator. Let's see. Cool. Oh, the concealer goes on very smooth. Oh, I love the concealer. It blended so beautifully. Looks so, so good. So I am going to go in with the soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush and this was the product that I was most excited about uh, and this is in the shade Bliss that's most popular. I didn't want to get other shades but I wanted to try the product itself before I buy more shades. And I'm going to see, I'll try to blend it with um, brush no let's go with a finger first i don't feel like it blends even let's go in and see if we can blend it with a sponge hmm. It looks a little bit uneven, like, I don't know if you can see you guys, but it doesn't look even on my skin. Let's see if we can apply it on the hand and then go in with the sponge. Oh no, it definitely moved my foundation and looks very cracky. I do not like that. That was a bummer. I really hoped I would like this. I try to blend with... Um, let's use the, a brush. I know this, this one is clean. It went on more even with the brush, but I do not like how this... Am I too bright or something? I do not like how this looks. I don't know if you can see guys, but it looks so patchy. Let me just come a little bit closer so you can see. I don't know if you can see how patchy it is. Well, I'm sad because with the brush it went on more even but with the finger it started to be a little bit patchy 
and as more as I tried to blend it, it looked more and more weird. Let's apply more on my hand, try to... I don't know why. So many people love this blush, but... Well, it went better with this brush, definitely. It's not... It's not uneven at all, but I like it with the brush. I will not blend it with my fingers or with the sponge. It looks terrible. It looks really smooth and even with the brush, but it looks like a mess with the finger and with the sponge. So, uh, but I li love the color. I will try continue using it. I just say that I don't really like how it looks with the sponge. So I don't have anything else except the lip products from Rare Beauty. So I'm going to speed up this process, apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to try the lips. I've never felt so alive in my life Cause you make me come to life every time I'm free Oh my god, my hair is so frizzy and I've been out today when it's very hot and it's raining and my hair just start getting frizzy. You know, when you fix your hair, you, you, you're proud of your hair, you go out, it's so hot but it starts raining and the weather does this to your hair. This is, oh my god, I hate it. But okay. Let's just move on and um, ignore my mess on my head. I just applied a little bit of the powder, uh, Charlotte Tilbury powder. I also applied the Hourglass mascara. This is one of my favorite mascara mascaras, but I don't use it when I go to work or out because it smudges, smudges under my low lash line terribly but i like love using it when i'm at home and not going anywhere because i love how my lashes look and uh, but i want to use it up it kind of is expensive too so okay i am I have also the lip souffle matte lip cream in courage who i uh, really want to try a lip stick formula matte that kind of works it's not too drying on the lips so let's see, this, I'm not going to apply any lip liner. Mm, this is more um, brown than I thought. It's kind of moussey, like a mousse. This is almost like my lips, but a little bit darker. I mean, it's really weird. It's moussey, but oily, but not too oily. It's kind of very, very weird texture. I don't know if I like it. Maybe it's this color. Um, I thought it would be more nude, but it's more... <laughs> I thought it would be more on the warmer side than it is, but I did get this too. This is the Glossy Lip Balm in Nearly Natural. I got a sample size. A small sample size. I will apply that on top of this one. And see. This I like more. 
Yeah. These two together, yes. I haven't... I just feel like I haven't felt this lipstick formula before. Maybe it needs a time to dry down. But I don't know what I feel about it. Okay, so let's talk about the products. Now, the foundation looks amazing on my face. I really love how the foundation looks. It looks beautiful. I hate the color. It's definitely wrong shade. It's a little bit too dark for me. I don't know if these lights are kind of washing me off a little bit or making me look uh, more bright. But... Mm, now I feel like I'm orange. Well, I'll fix that later. I don't know, I need to play more with these lights. No, this is too orange. Um, okay, back. No, I don't like this. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, like I said, I really love the foundation. I really like the concealer. I think the concealer is medium coverage. So is the foundation. Um, the lip gloss, I really like. I don't know about the lipstick though. I don't know. And the blush, yes, it's beautiful, but you, I will use a brush. I wouldn't use a finger or I wouldn't use a sponge because it doesn't look good on this side, but on this side looks very nice and flawless. I didn't apply any bronzer or anything because I was just trying to try these products. But um, So there are some hits, some misses, but I think it's... A good brand. I will definitely like to experiment more and try more products from Rare Beauty, but I, I really surprised how much I love the foundation, though I need to get that better shade. This is too dark. This is 210N, and I need to go a little bit lighter, but so far so good. I really like it, guys. That was everything. Please let me know down below if you tried anything from this brand. What do you think about it? What's your favorite product? What do you like? What don't you like? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I see you in my next video. Bye!